wonders of nature. Of course, I'm talking about the underground river here in Palawan. Some say it's a must-see and others say it's mainly a tourist attraction. So should you go or should you rather skip it? Let me show you all you need to know. Let's explore. Going from Port Barton to the underground river will only take you half a day. After arriving in Sabang, I check in at the hotel and then it's time for a little walk around town. Well, the main attraction around here, of course, is the underground river, attracting many locals and foreigners every day. It's best to go early in the morning. You will be the first in line, avoiding hours of waiting. You will need to find a group of six people in total to share a boat. And when you got your group together, you're good to go. I got trapped in your eyes the moment you looked at me from across the room those eyes kept following me something popped in my brain no oh, baby only you i see feels like i'm going insane and only you can save me feels like i'm drowning in an ocean's blue baby come on come on baby i'm very excited we are almost in remember it is not allowed to talk inside it will be only bats singing in here. The sculptures passing by are amazing to see. Just imagine how long it would have taken for nature to create it exactly like you see them today. And this is only a small part of the entire river, which is 8.2 kilometers in total. New caves, river channels and even small waterfalls have been discovered quite recently. Which makes me wonder, what else would there be hiding in here? And then there is daylight again. Well, you could go back the same way you entered, but if you're up for stretching your legs, you better go by jungle. explains a lot about the nature surrounding us. We even find some... <laughs> dinosaur eggs. <laughs> no, of course, I'm just kidding. The whole walk is definitely worth a detour though. Ending up at a beautiful place. Well, that was definitely fun. Yes, there are some other tourists, but the underground river is really a unique and beautiful spot. So should you visit it if you come to Palawan? I would say it's definitely worth your time and money. Also, if you take the monkey trail or the jungle trail back instead of the boat, because you have a lot of variation then, and it will only take you one morning. 
So if this video was of any help, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave your comments down below and subscribe if you're up for more. See you next week. Doeg!